to transition a business model, you need to invest. It's going to cost money. But you know, how do you see businesses actually transitioning their business model from linear to circular and doing that in a profitable way? Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of The CE Show. Um, and the overarching theme that we're discussing today is really around you know, how can we make circular business models more accessible and you know, enable businesses to be able to make their climate goals. And finance is obviously a really important enabler of that. Um, and circular economy has been part of the Intesa strategic plan for a number of years. Um, it's been a strategic priority. And I know that um, as part of that, you have renewed your circular economy credit facility, the Plafond, um, last year uh, for another €8 billion. Um, Euros. So um, I wanted to talk, start, kick off start and talking a bit about your um, you know, how you finance uh, circular economy businesses you know, and what you need from those companies um, that you give loans to, Gianmarco? Well, we have a, a framework uh, and we have a set of information, it's very detailed, that is included in this framework uh, because this, uh, not for all the projects, is linked to a, a credit and incentivization pr um, framework uh, where we can provide funds uh, at a lower rate uh, compared to the rate in other uh, inputs uh, that is very important uh, to the counterparty. Therefore, there are a set of rules we have in order to define what is, I, I, I think is circular and to finance this. So companies get a lower rate of interest, so preferential financing, and also um, if they meet certain circular economy eligibility criteria. Luigi, so what happens when a company comes to you and they don't already meet that, that criteria? How can you still support them on their circular economy journey? Speaking specifically of our credit offer, uh, in this San Paolo, the bank has set up a team of circular experts uh, called the Circular Economy Desk within the Innovation Center of the Banking Group. Uh, this desk provides technical support to our colleagues in the business units uh, or directly to the client. For example, uh, our technical advisory can be oriented to highlight, let's say, some circular pieces of the sustainability strategy of our clients, as it may be common uh, to find some companies already applying a circular strategy without explicitly calling it circular. We also have established an ESG advisory team as well as Circular Economy Lab that offers consulting uh, services to our clients that want to, to, to start this, this path. Uh, by integrating circular economy principles and offering financial products that can support sustainable uh, uh, practices, um, we as a bank can not only contribute to uh, climate mitigation, but as well position ourselves as a responsible and forward-thinking institution. We set a common ground, we open a discussion with our clients where we can also uh, discuss with them about strategy, about business models, in addition to the traditional financial aspect of uh, a loan request. To transition a business model, you need to invest. It's going to cost money. But you know, how do you see businesses actually transitioning their business model from linear to circular and doing that in a profitable way? Here we have the real challenge where we uh, are facing some, uh, uh, I mean, the tough discussion with our clients when you are talking about changing the entire business model. Even the central bank is telling us if you become circular, you have less risky for the business and for the system as a whole. But of course, it takes time because for two go from linear to circular, it takes a lot, it takes a, a huge investment, it needs to be done in phases. In this case, the answer is let's distinguish the near term, the short term is, term is, is something that we, is truly um, tremendous in terms of uh, a target objectives and longer term, because probably in the shorter term, there could be a negative carry in terms of yield, even on the bank side, 
and even on the investor side. But in this case, this is the only way we can make a change. So, you know, there might be a short you know, a short term time when it's more expensive or it costs more and there's that need for investment. But really, we need to look at the long term to see the benefits. And, and we expect those businesses to be lower risk and more resilient and, 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 and profitable over the longer term. And I think one of the impacts that we could already look at in the shorter term is the link to climate, which I wanted to talk to you about, Christina. Now, do you, no, do you see this link to climate no, in, in the work that you do between circular economy and climate? And how do you embed that in your long term strategy? Um, in our bank, uh, we were uh, no, we we know very well the nexus between climate and circular economy, and this is uh, also why the circular economy is embedded in our ESG strategy. We are also committed in protecting and restoring natural capital. Um, for example, through a dedicated biodiversity policy we are working on. No, in your opinion, is the narrative out there on circular economy? clear enough um, and reaching the right people and know what needs to change? Um, the main effort in terms of communication, I guess, uh, has been made to change the perception uh, of the circular economy as a recycling topic. The regeneration concept of circular economy foresees that people should borrow materials from the hurt and return them with interest. And as with the bank loan, uh, the borrower uh, has to return the capital to the lender plus uh, a portion of interest that um, covers the, the risk that the credit institution has taken in lending that initial capital. Um, this is exactly what should happen in the relationship between uh, humanity and nature. And, but in reality, uh, we get a loan from the earth and we pay back uh, lost capital and zero interest. Uh, I think that continued efforts to educate, engage and advocate are necessary. Okay, And uh, are essential to ensure that this transformational concept uh, becomes more uh, understood and adopted. I really like that analogy that regeneration is like paying back our loan to planet Earth with interest. I think that's a really, really nice um, way to think about it. Thank you very much. Really appreciate all of you taking the time to speak to us today. Thank you.